back to Cheney one day after this fire at the Lubers car dealership out there. Again, thanks to the Time Sentinel as they rolled up on scene, showing some of the smoke rolling out of that building. And crews went right to work, saving much of that building. 12 News reporter Rachel Hallam caught up with the owners who say they are beyond thankful for the quick response. The video first started, you could hear people yelling for somebody that they thought was still in there. Uh, so and I could hear other people saying, you know, don't go in there, don't go in there. Monday night, Cheney Fire Rescue responded to a structure fire at the Lubers Ford dealership. You don't know how bad it is until the morning when the sun comes up, clouds move out. Fire was contained to just one building and no one was injured. But co-owner Billy Luber says the situation was terrifying when one of his employees FaceTimed to show him the flames. I was expecting him to want me to look at a trade and uh, little did I know that he was showing me videos of the back of the Ford Service Department that was uh, in, in flame. Luber says the building is 29 years old and it felt like a part of his home was being destroyed. Last night it really felt kind of personal. I mean, it really hit deep. But he added the biggest concern was employee safety. You can replace the cars and the buildings, but can't replace a life. Now reconstruction has already begun and employees return to work Tuesday morning. Lubers wants those who helped to know how grateful they are for their quick response. Without them, I mean, it. when you walk around the back, you can, you can tell we got really lucky. In Cheney, Rachel Hallam, 12 News. Construction has started and they do plan on having the Ford service center back up and running in the next few months.